hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to show you how can you create the text converter using Django. as you can see this is the website that converts text to html format let me write something in this text editor let me write hello everyone please like this video if you like this project otherwise otherwise also like this video let me make this text let me make this text in bold and click on submit now it can change our text to HTML format. So to make this project, you have to install some things in your computer. First thing is that you have to install Django on your computer to install the Django. Let me open the command prompt here. To install the Django, you have to write the command pip install django but i have already installed the django and i thing that you have to install is editor by writing the command django ck editor this is the editor this is the rich uh, this is the editor that provides the rich text field where you can customize your text, you can bold your text, you can make your text italic, you can make your text underline and whatever you want. So here, let me create one project by writing the command python, not python, manage, sorry, not manage also, django admin, django admin, start project uh, i want to name this project html to not html text to html html let me enter now it created the text to html project django project here i change the directory text to HTML and insert the text to HTML. Let me create the app by writing the command python manage.py start app blog. Need create the blog application inside the text to HTML directory. Let me open this project inside the VS Code. Let me clear this command prompt. Uh, insert the text to HTML. Let me activate our. Let me activate this block application. To activate this block application, uh, I include this block inside the install app list. And the extra package that I have installed is a CK editor. So. I also include that also. Let me. Mm, oh yeah. Let me save this file. And inside the blog directory, there is the models.py file. So guys, I will, I copy and paste and make you understandable. If I going to write each and everything, it will take me the lot of time. So I copy all of these and paste it here. Here I create the post uh, class. Uh, for this post class, uh, I provide the body, uh, which is the rich text field which have the rich text field 
and what uh, which include the block blank is solitary and non is solitary let me this is nothing but this create the for the body section i use the rich text field which is provided by the seek edit let me save this and after making some changes to the model start by file i run the command python manage.py make migrations command python manage.py make migration commands after that i run the command python manage.py migrate Now I create the super user by writing the command python manage.py create super user for the username I think yeah for the username I forward the name admin I'm deputy input email and the password also admin and admin yes this doesn't matter whether it is short or common now I run the, the server by writing the command python manage.py run server now let me include this model in model inside the admin page so for that I have to import from models I import the post from the models and to register these models inside the post in sorry inside the admin i have to write this command let me save this and let me yeah let me refresh this page our project is running successfully i move toward the admin page and for the admin page the username is admin and password is also admin and there is the our post model post and i click on the add post you can see the in there is the rich text field body for the body there is a rich text field so i to to, to show this rich text field into our front end i am going to create the another function i am going to create the another file inside the block application the that file name is forms.py so let me copy all and paste it here this is nothing but uh, I have done some customization for this text editor which is shown in our admin page. I provide the text editor level for this text editor. So, so save this and inside the views.py file, let me copy all of this. And paste it here let me save this file here i import the post form from the forms file which i have which i have created before and here i call the for post form class which is inside the forms file and here uh, this function return this form toward the home.html file so here i create the and the directory templates inside the block and in inside the block templates i create and the directory block inside block 
let me create home.html home.html let me copy all and paste it here now I'm going to make you understandable from beginning remove this For this project, I provide the title text to HTML, and this is the I provide the some styling for this project. This is a some styling for this project, and here the I have used the name bar for the name bar is start from here and end at to here. I think I provide the double styling, so let me remove this this and the, from the views.py file this function return the forms for the home.html so that forms to be used in this way as you can see the forms.media and forms.add as underscore p and this will show the rich text field into our front end and below that text editor i created the uh, button submit uh, when i click this button it call the function text convert uh, text convert insert this function the value the value which is every data which is inside that th this text editor the reachable text editor is assigned to the x and inside and for y the element of element which i raise estimate data is assigned to the y it means that here is the text area which i raise estimate data this element is assigned to the y and inside inner html of this text area i want to show the data which is written inside the the rich text editor so let me save this let me refresh this page oh i forgot to forward the url for this project so let me define the url um log import use in path use dot call the function home and for this url the name home let me refresh this page I think it is reloading let me see yeah it is reloading and let me refresh this page now you can see it is shown here <coughs> so I read the something hello world and make this in bold and click on submit now you can see the text is converted to the HTML format so every data which is written inside this text field is assigned to a assigned to word assigned to assigned to the x value so this y define the this y define the field of this text area and for the inner html the inner html of this text area is assigned by this value so i think uh, uh, you get some tips or i think you get some knowledge regarding this project uh, i think only this much for this video and thank you for watching guys